Lazaro's mission command log. Entry 9. The guerrilla tactics displayed by the native factions are disgusting. Dozens of clones have been lost in the streets of the capital. Normally this sort of push would be far cleaner, but we are strapped for time. Further Republic intelligence has confirmed that the Separatist forces are en route to Las Rose to end her campaign for the capital. Chancellor Palpatine also ordered Admiral Oris Skye's immediate execution for his desertion after he heard of his rebellious, anti-Republic rhetoric. The brilliant mind lost ideologies. My name is Everett Howard and I built the knife part in the last Rope's mission. My scene depicts the climax of the story where clones are attacking the capital city of La the last Rope's planet. In the scene I use multiple techniques in order to depict an Asiatic architecture style and attempt to recreate uh, the feeling of the Tet Offensive from the Vietnam War. In the build I recreated a lot of photo shots and scenes from the Tet Offensive and Vietnam eras. Styles. On top of that, I used architecture from the Lhasa Temple in Tibet as an inspiration for the main palace in the city. In the scene, you can see the clone squad running about and trying to, in utter chaos as, all, as guerrilla warfare is breaking out throughout the capital. There's multiple areas where trenches and underground tunnels are being dug to um, just destroy the clones as much as they can, as the factions are trying to delay and just cause as much damage as they can to the clones before the Separatist armies arrive. I used a different approach to the landscape than the other builders, and in that I used the I used the green to depict the grass texture, which was inspired by a builder named Intense Potato, Tobias Wayholm. On top of that, I had a lot of dark red and gold mixtures to depict the, the lavastry of the, in the Asiatic sense. I also collaborated with Lucas, who was our tenth part builder, to build the roof for the main palace and in that we both shared a similar design, even though I feel like his was a little better. And I also made sure to include, um, despite the Asiatic influence, it's still Star Wars influence, so I made sure to have plenty of curves and curved windows and everything. On top of that, you can notice that most of the city is destroyed as uh, intense bombing campaigns have just decimated the area. And the, the warfare in the city as um, clones and just chaos, we've got multiple instances where you have last rope factions that are behind the lines and clones all over the entire build. On top of that, I made sure to use great use of the cloth in the, from the Ninjago sets and the Moana theme, as the diz, emblems and the designs really fit the um, last ropes feel that we're trying to go for. Uh, in, in one of the islands I have, there is a large wall structure that is a, a translucent gate that was um, taken. Me and, my friend, me and a friend of mine named Gabe collaborated on that. He was able to share, we were able to come up with a design for that and use it in one of his builds and I used it in mine. In the back of the build we have multiple, we have lots of clones running about and we've got last ropey soldiers. I've pinned behind walls which was inspired by a very old Halo um, campaign, Halo marketing campaign that featured a very graphic and realistic depictions of a Halo battle. All 10 uh, episodes of The Last Rope's Missions are now out on Rebelike.com and the YouTube channels. You can also purchase the Valda Squad at uh, AV Figures, which you can find on the a link. You can find a direct link on the Rebelike website.